I'm Jamie, this is my cat Woody, and this is our house. Now you've got the hiccups. We are Barry, Ben, Jamie, and Mike, the guys from Sorted Food. When it comes to cooking, everyone likes different things. So today, join us in one of our homes to see what we love to eat and why. Get ready, because we're making it personal. I absolutely love ribs, and you know what I love about beef ribs? They're mahoosive. They are really big, so we actually, beef rib. We're gonna do singular beef rib, slow cook, Asian style, with some wasabi sweet potato chips. It's gonna be amazing. Ooh. Start off with the marinade for the beef rib. Ginger to start off with, if you can just grate that yeah. into that pan, along with one red chilli, sliced. Mm -hmm. And then two other spices, star anise, two of those, and three cloves of garlic. And all I'm gonna do with the garlic is literally just pound them, and they can go in like that. Pounder if you want one. We have got a meat pounder. Yeah. Do you want me to use it since we're at your place? Yeah, if you could, that'd be great. Push it back out. Lovely, lovely. Good. Thank you. Lovely. And then to oh. that, we're going to add soy sauce. Quite a lot of it, 150 ml. That's basically there. a full bottle. That is basically a full <laughs> bottle. But it is quite a lot, quite an intense saltiness. Mm. But to that, to balance it out, what we can do is grab ourselves some brown sugar, um, and that's all going to go in there as well. So these ribs are going to have an Asian influence. There's lots of different types of ribs you can have, you can have barbecue ribs and things like that, but these Asian ones are so good. There's so much flavour packed in there. And you can do it with pork, obviously a rack yeah. of pork ribs, as we've done a number of times before, or this is a beef short rib. Now, this is why we're using beef, because it's just incredible. Not easy to get hold of in supermarkets in the UK. Right. Ask your butcher, but nice and easy, and this is a nicely well-hung piece. It's sort of already three weeks old, which makes it really tender. Very tender and very delicious. It's going to go into our marinade. Grow up. <laughs> so roll the rib in all of that marinade so the sugar and the soy dissolves and get rubbed into it. Lovely. And you can leave it in there for a couple of hours if you want, but actually, because you're going to cook it for such a long time, with an extra glass of water so nothing dries out, and with a lid on, it's absolutely perfect. So lid on, and that goes into an oven about 140 degrees Celsius for three hours or so, so a long, slow cook. Now, Jay, why ribs? Why ribs? Why are we choosing ribs? Uh, I've always enjoyed ribs, uh, but probably the best ribs I've ever had, ever, ever, were beef ribs on honeymoon on the west coast of the US in Las Vegas. Good food, good location, good memories. Definitely. So lots of people talk big games about their honeymoon, but I have to say, one of the most exciting things for both me and my wife was the Musical Instruments Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. There's over 10,000 instruments in one building. It's the biggest collection of instruments. Biggest collection of instruments you've ever seen anywhere in the world. And the best thing that we bought was a scrapey frog. I mean, listen to this. Yeah, I thought you'd like that one. After three hours, look at that, the rib literally oh. falling apart. Plus, all the fat has come out of this, which is now why you've kind of got a layer of fat on top of this. So it's worth getting yourself a ladle and just skim the fat off. And don't put that down the sink because it was set up. So put it into something, you can let it cool down, set up and then scoop it into a bin rather than pour down the drain. And then what's left, turn up the heat and basically we're going to reduce that right down to a sticky syrup. Next thing though, sweet potato, a great accompaniment to our ribs. If you can just peel that, because yeah. as much as we like to take the mickey, you're not that bad in the kitchen anymore. You used I'm, to be, I'm used not, to be. I'm not bad at all. Um, no, I do have to cook quite a lot. My wife works evenings sometimes, so I have to cook for me and for her. There you go. Yes, I do cook quite a lot at home. I have a few favourite recipes that I go over and over again. The first one, Beginners Get Sorted book, beef rangdang curry with aromatic rice. That is an absolute favourite in this household. Another one is the pulled pork with pineapple salsa. It's actually DJ Barbecue's recipe, uh, but he did come and do it unsorted. What's up? So chop up our sweet potato, keep them all roughly the same size, but kind of, well, chip shaped. And they can go into a roasting tray with secret ingredient, sweet potato, keeping the Asian style, a little bit of wasabi. So you can either grab yourself a tube of wasabi and just let it down with a bit of oil, or this is actually just a wasabi oil anyway. Okay. You can buy. Just dribble it all the way over, plenty of salt. Lovely. And then if you get your hands in there, give them a quick sort of toss together. Yep. 
Have you already done it? No. I was just giving it a warm up for you. Oh, right, thanks. How easy was that? Perfect. And from there, these can go into the oven, which we've now turned up to 220 degrees Celsius. So we're taking the ribs out, we yep. get up nice and high, and these need about 25 minutes. And look at how much that's reduced down yes. now. Almost a syrup because of all that brown sugar we put in. But now, a couple of shots of rice wine vinegar to cut through that, otherwise it just will be too sweet. Lovely. And everything else can come out of the oven. I put the ribs back in the oven just to warm through as well. So we've got our sweet potato chips. If you want to pile those into our Looking amazing. cup. And the ribs. Unbelievable. And the best part, is this syrup all the way over the top. Sweet, salty, sour, spicy. Oh, that looks incredible. There we go. Got some chilli, some coriander. It's our Asian style beef rib with sweet potato wasabi chips, sorted. Should be super suck, look at that. Oh, I've given yes. you a fork, but a spoon perhaps would be better. I could have done it. Mmm. A little kick of wasabi makes all the difference. Mmm. Now you asked for something to remind you of your honeymoon. Is this pretty yep. personal to you? This is about as personal as it gets without undoing my trousers. <laughs> it's fine. But what we'd like to know is, what's your favourite holiday food? What kind of food you know, conjures up memories of happy times away? Comment down below so we can read them all. Mmm. This is so good.